it just really brought back hope to the human race for me because in this big city it's like it's scary out there and it's good to know that people still care this is you know really the largest free clinic of its type in the country and serving a very important need we care and we are here because we want to be here we have volunteers who want to be here residents want to be here the sad thing is that healthcare doesn't mean a lot to you until you need it yourself but the numbers are growing daily for those that have no access. What do you do if you don't have health? You can't function. You can't even get work if you're not healthy. You just have to see people one person at a time and you can only do so much and you just can't save the world, but you can try. By providing free health care, we take away all obstacles for anyone who needs the care. And the reason we believe so strongly it should be free is it allows a person the ability to come in and ask for help and not worry about money. The vital need that this community clinic provides is tremendous. Without a community clinic like this, a number of patients, 20,000 patients, would not be receiving care. When you have assets, it's wonderful to be able to share them with others who don't have anything at all. And I think that's where healthcare is really needed today, more and more outreach into the community. At the clinic, we really believe that the most important thing is for someone to be able to both have access to care and, if possible, insurance will provide them with more access. Our goal is to help families so that they're not having to uh, make decisions between buying food for the family and taking their child to the doctor. Since 1999, we've enrolled over 4,500 individuals and we continue to enroll approximately 1,000 every year. I would prefer to come here than, you know, if I had a million dollars and I could, you know, go to see any doctor, I would. I would, I would come here. person enters this clinic, they feel welcomed, they feel the kindness of others towards them, and they also see all of the good work that's going on with the patients and between the patient staff and volunteers. I've been volunteering at the Venice Family Clinic since 1971. I've been bringing medical students initially, starting in the mid-70s, and after I became residency program director at Kaiser LA, uh, I started bringing my residents 19, since 1984. It's a great experience. It's helping people that otherwise might not get help. Um, it makes you passionate about what you do. and It makes me really want to pursue um, family medicine, the aspect of underserved populations. And the patients that we serve are so grateful for the care that they can receive. So what we're trying to do is provide very high quality care uh, to a population that deserves it like any other population. <laughs> Without the free clinic here, they won't get the care. They will go to emergency rooms when they're much sicker, and they will cost, essentially, they'll cost the system a lot more money eventually. We will continue to grow. We will continue to help people. It's a promise we've made, and we've kept it. We're also known here for our ability to perform efficiently and well and with great kindness. And the combination means that people really like us and respect what we do. It's good to know that I'm not alone and that I'm not the only one suffering from, from this and that, it's, and that it's okay. The clinic feels strongly that a lot of our patients have significant emotional issues or psychosocial needs, so we try to take a holistic approach to uh, the services, both medically and mental, and mental health. You know, I feel like a little kid right now, right, 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 right now, like I'm a 37-year-old man with a second chance and it feels good. Whatever I've ever done, uh, career-wise, this is the most important thing because it's spread out to so many people that really need it. The Venice Family Clinic is thrilled to receive the Foster G. McGaw Award. It provides for us a way of sharing all of the many programs we have grown and learned and kind of really brought up through the years. It also allows 
us to thank our hospital partners and recognize them through this award. Congratulations to the Venice Family Clinic and to all the 2005 finalists for leading the way to a healthier America. We couldn't be more proud. the Baxter International Foundation, the Cardinal Health Foundation, and the American Hospital Association congratulate the 2005 Foster G. McGaw Prize winner, Venice Family Clinic, Venice, California. We also honor the finalists, Franklin Community Health Network, Farmington, Maine, Healthy Communities Initiative of Bartholomew County, Columbus, Indiana, Pitt County Memorial Hospital, Greenville, North Carolina.